Hello, it's Keith from KMH Corner. Welcome back to another week of Minecraft Uncut. Oh, we just went mining. What fun is that? We love the mining. But, um, we got some goods and we are going to upgrade for better mining. So I'm going to go to where I just want to, yes. um, I'm gonna throw you all in there. I need that. Need that. Well, I don't need that. Um. Ooh, I need some water. I'm gonna steal a couple of planks here. I'm gonna go back to my home and start trying to get certain items that will make my life better, like a fortune three pick. I'm not asking for much. A silk touch pick, still probably more probable than the Fortune 3. Um, and a nice worker pick, something with efficiency 4 or 5 with some nice unbreaking 3 on it. Jump, 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 jump. And... Um, Wowie zowie. I'm definitely going to put you putting stairs on this. So we can mine a little bit faster. I'm going to sleep away the night. Don't want to have to be attacking too much. I've already got killed once. Stupid me. Yeah, I hear you. Let's go there. Um, looking at the overview map. I have realized it's probably best for me to use the boat to get around from where my shop is to here. This ain't UHC, I don't have to worry about it. So, I'm going to do that. Um, we'll see if I can make a good landing port. But you see these stone things? I was thinking of making that into a dwarven head. Um, I don't know how to do 3D art too well. And that would be a good way to learn. It might be frustrating. It might be embarrassing. But uh, it would be really cool if I can make that into a dwarven head. So if people are coming in, like Viking ships coming in, they can see that they're going to the land of the dwarves. I don't even know if it should be the land of the dwarves, to tell you the truth. Seeing, oh, I thought those were jungle trees for a second. I'm like, I got a jungle! I need uh, vines because this build over there is going to be using lots of um, cracked, what is going on here? Okay, I'm probably not where I am in the world. I'm going to crash and burn when I come off this boat, aren't I? Um, I'm going to be using a lot of mossy stone bricks and stuff for this build. And I've been working on the design of it and my... Uh, in my... I think we'll just keep you there. I have a uh, super secret world where I figure stuff out so I can do them here. Yeah. So I've been uh, doing the designs. Design the walls. I have the pillars designed. Now I have to design the staircases, but you know, it's basically going to be an extension of what I've done with the walls and stuff. Oh, come here. Sorry, you got out. Don't need you anymore, but I want your food. Oh. Is there another one over here? Can I see? No. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm at 27 levels right now. I'm going to get myself up to... You exploded. 
with uh, get myself up to 30 levels and start enchanting books and diamond pickaxes um, so I can be a better miner and do those branch mining things that you saw all last week faster and better than I did last week because that was quite the fun stuff to watch, wasn't it? But um, seeing it is a beginning of an episode. I gotta do my farming and all that good stuff. Just for giggles and sh sh shits. Yeah. I actually just got off my ass. No. I just got off <laughs> the phone with my brother. I spoke to my brother for a couple hours talking about different stuff. I have a brother that is actually 14 years older than me. So when I was a little kid, he was moving out of the house. So um, I never really lived with him that much, except for, you know, when you first move out of the house, a lot of times you have to move back for financial reasons. And he did do that, and he was a major hippie, but he's the one that got me into psychedelic music um, and so forth. We were talking about family things. Uh, Certain members of my family are being crabby and, you know, talking it through. Um, they're going through hard times, basically, and their parents. They live down the street from me. And it was nice to have a nice conversation with my brother. He is like a holistic food nut. Um, that's how he makes his living. He does, he's like one of those gluten-free diet people and all that good yuckity yuck stuff only eats healthy things and teas and he's got me on um, got me thinking about trying this new Hindu type tea that is really good um, kind of weird interesting stuff uh, that's my family we're all a little different <laughs> and uh, his claim to fame musically was um, he played with the Boston Pops for a little while as a violinist but uh, he was too much of this was late 70s but he was too much of a uh, hippie you know you know what I mean he liked the psychedelics so it was just nice touching base with him. He was actually one of the people who were who was here for Easter, and uh, he had a little difficulty in his life because he has anger issues. Um, I totally relate because I am quick to anger also, but unfortunately, I don't know this for a fact, but he, I think he goes over the top and does some bad things that he regrets when he's angry which is un uncool but my dad was the same way and so that was kind of part of the conversation um, his wife just got up and left, uh, left him like two weeks ago and it was because he got angry and I'm afraid that he might have hit her which is totally shitty which leads me to a topic that I kind of wanted to touch base with. I'm going to throw those in there. Um, where's my, oh, I hid my crafting table so well last episode that I didn't even know where it was. I have a, hey, Is this gonna help you? Oh, yeah, yeah, you want some of this? Yeah, you want some of this? Uh-uh, shh, you're too loud. Hey, kid, come with me. Kid. Suey, come here, Suey. Come here. No, 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 no. Come here. 
Oh, stinker. Just trying to get you in there. See what's gonna happen to you when you grow up? That's because you wouldn't come in. Okay, let's feed some of these guys up. Um, so my daughter, who is seven, eight-ish, Here, I'll waste the rest of this on you. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, you really like me now. Oh, I suck. I'm gonna try and get away from these guys so I can hear what I'm doing. <sighs> okay. So my daughter, who is... Seven, almost eight, was mad at my wife. I'm breaking three. Hmm. I need to gain a couple of levels, so let me go down. I'm chewing on a halls. So I'm sorry, I'm chewing. Oh, yes. uh, we'll control you in there. I didn't realize I had that much food in here, which is good. Let me put you on the food chest, whichever chest you are. Let's see what the book will give us. Let's bring a book. Let's give you that. Let's take this back because I don't know why I threw it up there. Let's take that. Let's get a couple of these. Now I'll stop chewing on my halls in one second. My daughter, for the 17th time, One one. That's seven books. That's good enough. Was mad with Stacy, her mom. How you're? What she was saying was you're. You are making me angry, and I had to remind my daughter. It wasn't what her mom was doing that was making her angry. Because she has a choice on being angry or not. That's one thing that people don't realize. Somebody can cut you off in traffic. Somebody can call you a name. Somebody can be a complete jerk to you. But ultimately, it is your choice to become angry. And I was trying to tell my daughter, it's not your mom that's making you angry. It's you making you yourself angry you choose to be angry your, re your your reaction to her i'm just reminiscing about stuff i have is making you angry hold on let me go down here is anything spawning i do see what I think I'm going to do is, I know there is a baby in there, but I'm going to replace that block. Hopefully the baby will come out. I don't know. There we go. So ultimately, anybody can do whatever they want to you, and it's really your reaction to it. Hi, buddy. Thank you. I am going to do this. Sound. I'm 25. I'm going to just go down to 10 right now. So ultimately, when uh, people do bad things, your reaction to it is ultimately what is it's your own decision I mean people can be a jerk and whatever and by right you have uh, a good reason to be angry but you don't have to be angry just because you have good reason to be angry um, and my I think I forget what my daughter was doing I think, they were getting ready for school and my daughter was upset because she wanted to wear a shirt and 
and her mom would say, no, you can't wear this shirt. you got to wear something else. And my daughter was saying, you are making me angry. And, I, and she was, like, getting really upset. And I could tell she was about to have a meltdown. And I had to go out there and say, your mom can tell you whatever she wants to tell you. But it's your reaction to it that is making you angry, not her saying that you can't wear this particular shirt. Sure, it would be great to wear that shirt, but really, in the big scheme of things, it's not that big deal. Um, actually, guys, closer to this, I, more I think they spawn. I gotta fix this up a little bit, maybe make it in a crusher or something, but that's for another day. So when somebody does something, your reaction to it defines who you are. So if your reaction is always going to be anger, that's not fun. I mean, ultimately, yes, there's good times to be angry. But if it's what your go-to emotion when people are being stupid, then it's not worthy. There's my preach of the day. I'm preaching. Um, I looked into this. Because the itty bitty moms, the, the babies, the Gary Coleman's, as some people say, are one block high, and they get stuck underneath the water stream. And I was thinking maybe making a pit of lava. I don't have a lava bucket, do I? Hmm. What I could do, there's a way, I'll, one of these days, I'm going to make a little branch and a little thing of lava there so the little babies fall over and go into the lava. Just to get rid of them because um, getting st stuck here makes it so other mobs can't spawn. So let me, because it doesn't look like they're going anywhere, right? Well, there's a little baby, but... It, if um, I can't tell, if, uh, I gotta figure out some. You know, ooh, it's a little baby villager guy. Come here, come here. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know if you know a good way to get rid of the babies here. B -b -b babies, B -b 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 babies. I will do that. So let me know. Hmm. My voice is already sore, even before I started recording. But I am still feeling better. Oh, you got me. Oh, you got me again. 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 Oh, you keep getting me. Oh, how dare you. Okay, I'm a little whacked out. I hate talking on the phone. And I was on it for a long time. I go, why talk to somebody on the phone when you can see them in chat? I just have a little bit more to recover to get 30 levels, and we're going to enchant something. And, or enchant a pickaxe. And hopefully, it will be something worthy. I guess I'll see what the book says also. And hopefully the book will... Dang! Bro, who was that? It was you. Hmm. If I put a half slab up there, will you still be able to hit me? Let's see. Yes, okay. I guess that, you know, I'm not going to worry about it because it's a crappy farm. Let's go enchant. I'm going to turn my things back up. I don't want to get used to changing this around, but those mobs were just too loud in my headphones. Let's go. How do I get out of here? There we go. I guess we'll throw a torch here. Let's go enchant something. Hopefully we get something good. You can all despawn. Yes, I'm talking about you guys. Go back to sleep. 
So our reactions to different situations um, define us. And uh, even though my initial response to everything is anger. Oh, you've grown up. And sometimes really condescending. Um, I realize that and I try and fix it. Um, I'm not going to say I don't get angry. That's not where I was going though. Let's see what the book clicks here. The book is unbreaking three. The pickaxe is unbreaking three, so I guess that's where we're going. Give me some of you. Let's hope there's something good with this. What do you think? Okay, worker. Now, what do you get? Efficiency five. Unbreaking again. Oops, 